Hi, this is Andrew. Thanks for joining me. This video covers uh, how to figure out how many networks we have and how many IP addresses we have available. This can be a common question. Which subnet mask would you need to use to have this many IP addresses or something like that? So let's start with a um, a network here. This is We'll call this uh, 192.168.0.0 slash 24. Now remember, we're just dealing with the fourth octet here. These three octets, we just keep copying them and pasting them. This could be 10.0.0.0. It could be an actual real IP address range that's public, but we're just using 192.168.0.0 because it's common. We can use any of the private addresses or anything else. Just be aware of that. We're right now only working in the fourth octet. So if the question is, we take this network and subnet it with a, uh, dot zero dot zero subnet it with a slash 27 address what does that do well that means that we have these three bits here because we started with 24 we went to 27 that's three bits in this fourth octet we're using how many networks do we have and the answer to that is probably easier to draw than to type but we take two and raise it to the third power because we have three bits here. Now we're taking two because there are two options for each bit. It's two to the two, um, it can be a zero or a one. Those are two options. We go to the third power because we have three bits. That's two times two times two. Two times two is four. Two times two times two is eight. Now in the last example, um, Let's actually turn off drawing. There we go. So if we go over here and list those out, we're saying we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, And all we're doing is counting by one in this third position because that's where our magic number is. That's where our network portion ends. Hosts are always going to be all zeros, the five bits on the right. So now we're at one zero and then one one zero and now one 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 zero. And these are all of the possibilities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is what we came up with over here. Two to the third equals eight. Now, another example we did was a slash 26. And in that case, um, we, let's do a slash 26 here. That means we have the first two bits for slash 28. So that means the second one is zero, one, zero, zero. Then one, zero, zero. Oh too many there we go and this space here is just so I can make sure that I'm doing groups of four and groups of four but there you are all all eight of those bits are together so these are the only possibilities when when I have two bits as my dividing line um, and that means that uh, we have four options and where do we get the four from we can say we have two, because it's always two, and in that case, we're only using to the 64, so we're only using two bits. Two, so that's two squared, and that equals four. So if for some reason we had six, that would be two times two times two times two, six times. Two times two is four, times two is eight, is, times two is 16, times two is 32, times two is 64, and we would have 64 networks in that case. Now, how many hosts do we have? If you look at it, you might think, or you, you might recognize that it's really doing the same exact thing. We have, in this case, uh, let's get rid of everything down here. So we have five bits available for our home address, for our host addresses. So that is two to the fifth power, except if you remember from doing this, we were calculating the, the network address and the broadcast address. Those are not available for hosts. 
So we always do a minus two on the host addresses for the for the network and the broadcast. So two to the fifth is two, times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, times two is 32, minus two is 30. And that's how many hosts we have available. Now, if we uh, look at the example we started with, we can get rid of these. These numbers are our network numbers. And this one, I'll just do a dash and a zero. Um, this one is a dash and this is zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, thirty-two. Um, then this one is the next one, which we had 32, 64. Let's put a dash there for consistency. Then we have add 32 is 96. So as we go, we can see that it's increasing by 32. But what does that mean for us here? That means that our network number is zero. Our broadcast number is 31. That means our range is one through 30. And that's what we saw here. We have 30 addresses. Obviously one through 30 is 30. And the same thing applies here, except it is uh, our broadcast is 63. The host we have is 33 to 62. And that is also 30 addresses. So we can see this pattern continuing. Um, all we have to do is say, for the number of networks, we say it's two to the power of the, the, the number of bits we have for the network. So in this case, third. If for hosts, it's the number of host bits we have, two to the fifth power minus two. And if we had a different layout, so again, we go back to, let's do the 29 again, and we'll figure out if we do 29, that means we have I can't erase what I drew. Let's do this. Um, we have now five, and again, two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, times two is 32. We have 32 networks. And that leaves uh, three host bits, because we have three, three spots that can be used for hosts. So two times two is four, times two is eight, minus two is six. So a common type of question you'll get is design a network that includes um, up to, uh, that includes at least 30 networks and can handle at least four computers or six computers in each network, or um, some variant of that. And it, you can be doing this backwards. And all you have to do is say, if I need if I needed 16 networks, how many ho how many network bits do I need? Two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. I need four network bits um, to create 16 networks. So that is uh, the style of question. That's what you need to figure out in terms of how many networks you have available. Um, and uh, that's all I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching.